If you want to export any setting or card that you've created within the SOLIDWORKS EPDM Vault Administrator, all that you have to do to get that exported from your current vault so that you can import it into another one is to right click on the item that you want to export. So for instance here, let's export a card and just select the, the export button. Now here you'll see that this actually contains all the items that are required for this card. So all the variables, they're included in the export. Now what if you want to export the entire vault? Well, just right click on the vault itself, click export, same thing happens. So you get an export file that contains everything that is in this vault. All the users, all the cards, it's all contained in this one file. And I just need to hit save and put a location for the CEX file, give it a name, and that's all there is to it. That file is now exported from the vault and it can be imported on another machine or we could bring it into another vault right here on this system. So all we have to do is log into this other vault and again right at the top level right click on the vault name itself and hit import. And now we just browse to find the file. Now we can bring this in. We're going to overwrite a couple things and after a few seconds we're going to get a message saying that it has successfully imported all these components. So if you're trying to transfer any files from uh, one vault to another, any type of settings or anything like that, then you'll be able to do that very easily just using the export and import options. Same thing goes if you're trying to send something to uh, support and you're trying to get maybe a card isn't working quite rightly, the the variable mapping isn't quite right, well, this is a really nice and simple way to get that information over to us so that we can figure out exactly where something's not working for you.